Good evening. Hope all is well with you as well as your families. And a hearty, hearty Madison Park welcome to our Fall 2020 Program Advisory Board meetings here at the school. I am Kevin McCaskill, the Executive Director here at Madison Park. It has truly been a year to remember. The pandemic has definitely impacted our families, our communities, the Commonwealth, our country, our world. Education has taken a direct hit and closer to home, career vocational te technical education has taken an even bigger hit. Hands-on project-based learning elements of our approach have been hampered by COVID-19. Valuable time has been lost in developing the skills and confidence of our students that will enable them to compete for future industry opportunities. Remote learning is a placeholder, but it is not a solution for us to meet our needs, our goals, or our aspirations. I am extremely proud of our staff who have worked tirelessly to make the best out of an adverse situation. They are the backbone of our organization and their work never goes unnoticed. For the most part, our students are plugging along, valiantly holding on hope of returning to school for an in-person model. And in that is the only model that actively engages our kids. We are thankful and appreciative of all of you. You are valued and dedicated partners who continue to show support of our school and respective vocational programs through your persistent willingness to be the difference makers and game changers for our students. We salute you. As we close last year, I'd like to highlight a few points. We had eight individual graduation ceremonies on site in June of 2020 to give our seniors a proper send off. Two Madison Park students, Madison Park seniors, made Boston Public Schools history. Melanie Sola of our cosmetology program and Javon Graham of our health assisting program were the first two students in the history of Boston Public Schools to receive associate degrees prior to getting diplomas. Melanie received an associate's degree from Bunker Hill Community College and Javon received his from the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. It was truly a proud moment. We did also have an August graduation on site, which was just an outstanding, outstanding event. We secured yet another Workforce Skills Capital Grant from the state. This one was for $180,000 for our health assisting and dental assisting program. ROXMAP, which is Madison Park's dual enrollment and early college program, despite COVID, still received a 32% gain in the amount of credits, transferable credits attained. It is just a remarkable, remarkable number considering the factors that were working against the school and the students. And Tanika DeGrace, our director, was simply outstanding. We went from 569 credits attained in the 18-19 school year to 751 transferable credits attained for the 19-20 school year. Just an outstanding accomplishment. We would like to recognize Latrell Pinckney Chase, who was named the Massachusetts Skills USA Advisor of the Year. And on top of that, Latrell is our co-op coordinator and she had played a pivotal role in a 60% increase in the number of co-ops that we had in a shortened season. Just an outstanding job once again, Latrell. Just great, great work. Well done, well done. The establishment of the Boston Medical Center internship program in collaboration with our partner, The Possible Project. And this was spearheaded by Opal Hines Fisher of our health assisting program. We also were part of the development of the Boston Public Schools in the city of Boston works, works project in which Madison Park was named a site in which our vocational students were allowed to work on the building. We also had the 10,000 doorstop project for the Boston Public Schools in which our carpentry program headed by George Baptista, Hector Casado, and Brenda Purcell, as well as four students, produced 10,000 doorstops for all 125 schools. 
We also had the advancement of Cardinal Works, and Cardinal Works is our autonomous vehicle initiative in conjunction with MIT and James Sproul, who is just an outstanding, outstanding partner. Michael Berger from my computer programming and web development program has been a driving force behind the growth and success of this initiative. The continued entrepreneurial growth of our graphic communications program under direction of Elizabeth Johnson. We had another large freshman class, over 330 enrolled freshmen. Just another great recruiting venture, and Brandy Cruther played an important role in getting those numbers. And also the continued work of our Career Champions Network. And that's just to name a few, because I know I'm forgetting a few as well. But we are looking forward to future growth with your support. It's the only way we can expand the knowledge base of our students. We need you to utilize your expertise to critique each of our program's curriculum, provide professional development opportunities for staff, provide project-based learning and experiential opportunities for students, and possibly a couple of co-ops if you can spare them. We have a long road ahead, but we know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and we are blessed to have partners like you for our journey. Thank you for all you do for Madison Park. We are greatly appreciative. Enjoy the evening.